Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to split stereo tracks to mono or combine mono tracks to stereo in Reaper. Now we're starting with a blank project, and I'm going to go to my hard drive and bring in a stereo file right here called overheads. We'll drag and drop it. And now this track is stereo. Let's hear it. Now one problem with it is it seems to be a bit off center and both sides don't sound the same. So I prefer to make this stereo track two mono tracks. So let me show you how to do that. We'll start by selecting the audio file and then right clicking it and go down here to item processing and choose explode multi-channel audio to new one channel items. Now this will work with any multi-channel audio file. It could be stereo or surround, but in this situation, we're using stereo. So if we choose this, it's going to make two new tracks with each side of the stereo track, left and right. But it still leaves the old track and it makes it a folder. So let's change that and delete this track as we don't need it anymore. Then we could pan this one to the left, this one to the right, and rename it overheads left and overheads right. And if we play it, it should sound the same. But now we have two faders to control. So we can rebalance it right from here. Play around with the phase or polarity. Or we had a different compressor or EQ to each side. So this is how we do it with a stereo file where we want it to be two mono tracks. But let's say we want the opposite. Let's delete these two and go back to my hard drive. And right over here, I have two piano audio files, one left and one right. So if I bring these in, I could put them on separate tracks and pan them left and right. Now these two tracks sound balanced, so I don't really need them on separate tracks. I'd prefer to treat them together and adjust them with one fader instead of two. So to do this, there's actually two different ways. The first way is very useful if we're dealing with audio files with no edits. So what we'll do is we'll select both of them and then right click and go to item processing. And this time we'll choose implode items across tracks into items on one track. So this is gonna put both items on top of each other on one track. Choose it. Now you can't see because they're on top of each other, but we can go to the options menu right here and choose the option here. Show overlapping media items in lanes. Now we can see them both at the same time. We could delete this track, pan this one in the middle, but if we play it now, we're hearing it in mono. We need each file to be panned separately. So let's double click the left one, which opens up the media item properties for this file, and we can pan it to the left. Do the same thing for the right one, and pan this one to the right, and now it should be perfect. And it is. 
So if we're dealing with a simple file with no edits, we're done. But if you're dealing with lots of edits or multiple files, I would do it this way. Let's start over, go back to the hard drive, drag it in, pan them to the left and the right, And this time, let's simulate some edits so you can see how it works. So I'll split the audio here, make a whole bunch of edits, and this time we'll make a new track. Bring it to the top, we'll name it Piano, as it's gonna be a stereo track. Then we'll switch the track to a different mode. Right click it, and go down here to Free Item Positioning. And in this mode, we can drag any audio files in any order to that track for playback. So let's start by double clicking Piano Left to highlight all these files. Double click this to open up the properties for all that audio and pan this to the left. And do the same for the right track. Double click it and pan this to the right. Now we need to drag all these files up here. And if we drag it now, unless our hand is very steady, we might shift it at a time. So what I'd recommend is turning on locking. So right click up here, turn on the option, items prevent left right movement, then turn locking on. And if we drag it up, we can't shift it out of time. The left right movement is locked. So let's put it up here, make it a bit smaller, select all these ones, do the same thing right about there. Now we could delete these tracks. We don't need them. Now all the audio is on this track. These are pan left and these are pan right. So once again, we have one stereo track. And we can still change our edits, change the timing of the audio like this. So we can still shift our edits while working with this stereo track. But if we play it back, we now have one stereo track instead of two mono ones. But once again, you could use the simpler way if you're not using any edits. So that's pretty much it. That's splitting stereo tracks to mono or combining mono tracks to stereo in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!